Hey guys, this is xandrew 2007 x here with a very cool video for the PlayStation 4. Before we get in the video, I would greatly appreciate if you guys like as well as a comment so it's my channel as well as my video get out there. So if you guys are on Twitter, you can check Spectre Dev. He released a full kernel exploit for 5.05. And this is very cool. It's the first exploit to be on 5XX. And um, this is very cool for most of the community. Because 5.05 .05 was a firmware that was for about 4 to 6 months. So a lot of people have this firmware. And that means more people now can have pirated games. As well as homebrew for their PlayStation 4. So this is very cool. And for those people that are on 405 and 455, we can now update to 505 and we can get more games, DLC, and homebrew. So with this being said, let's get into the tutorial on how to update to 505. So for this, you're going to have to head over to the description and there'll be two different links for uh, 505 Sony updates that are official. If you guys don't trust these links, you can simply google it and choose whatever links you trust and from there uh you want to make a folder on your usb called playstation 4 so p s 4 and you want to make another subfolder in that folder called update and in the update folder you want to bring the pup file and from there you want to bring the usb to your playstation 4 and what you want to do is go to user guide if you're on 405 or 455 and enable updates. What this will do is it will delete those two folders that will allow you to update and um, you can now update to 505. If that does not work, you can go to safe mode. To go to safe mode, you simply need to hold the power button for about 7 to 8 seconds. And then on the second beep, that means you are in safe mode. And then you can update that way. And from there, through uh, the regular system update way or the safe mode way, once you're at 505, you should be good to go. And from there, all you need to do is go for the site that I have on the screen and the description. And uh, you'll be able to have debug and... Uh, Eventually, Pen and other things will be ported. Some things are already ported, so that's cool. And in no time at all, it will be like 4.05 or 4.55. And that's very cool. So we'll have more games, more homebrew, more mods, and more DLC for the PlayStation 4. And this is very cool for the PlayStation 4 scene. So once again, I would greatly appreciate if you guys would like, as well as a comment, so this helps this video get out there for more people to jailbreak their PlayStation 4. Alright, peace out.